nostalgia. It's the feeling you get when playing one of these video game classics. Whether it's jumping on Goomba's heads with Mario, destroying baddies with Mega Man's blaster, or exploring the vast landscapes of Hyrule with Link, these moments bring back good memories. The best part of these games... What? What are you doing? No. Half an hour, I could stop Please stop it! No! <laughs> I didn't see you there. My name's Calvin Lofton, art student, visionary, and video game connoisseur. Oh, tonight we will be discussing video games turned cartoon. Many video games have been adapted into the cartoon style, but tonight we will only be discussing the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Now in this, I will discuss background info, the plot, things they did right and what they got wrong. Enjoy. <laughs> hey, Donald! It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! <laughs> With the Mario Brothers and plumbing's a game We're not like the others who get all the fame If you think it's in trouble, you can call us on the double We're faster than the others, you'll be hooked on the brothers! The Super Mario Bros. Super Show is a syndicated cartoon-slash-live-action series distributed by Viacom. It was produced by Deke Entertainment, who also made the Captain M Game Master series. The first episode aired September 4th, 1989, which is 20 days before I was born. It saddens me that I was born around the same time something so horrible was being shown on TV. Anyways. The beginning and ending of each show is actually live-action actors playing Mario and Luigi. Mario is played and voiced by Lou Albano, also known as the famous Captain Lou Albano from the World Wrestling Federation show. He was a very important and weird coach slash manager who liked putting rubber bands through his face. Every time they hear the name Greg the Hammer Valentine, it sends fear right down their spine because they know I possess, like Captain Lou Albano said. Luigi is played and voiced by Danny Wells, a Canadian actor whose voice acted for many video games, including the Splinter Cell series. Since this video is on video games turned cartoon, we'll skip the live action part. Mario, Luigi, Princess Toad, Soul and Toad actually look like the characters from the games. Also, the worlds generally look like they're supposed to, and they use sound effects from the actual games. For one, the animation is horrible. They didn't even have to do a full cartoon, and it still looks bad. Also, they made up characters I've never even heard of in my life, who look like crap. You've got to be kidding me. In the intro, Mario grabs a star and his fire flower suit appears on him. What were the writers and storyboard artists, if they had any, thinking? Had they even played the games before in their lives? In my opinion, these animation studios actually had a hard task at hand. I think they had the same problem Walt Disney did when he tried to revamp Mickey Mouse. They had a one-dimensional character that didn't talk and killed enemies by either jumping on them, slicing them, or shooting them with a blaster. So in conclusion, they basically tried to take a one-dimensional video game character 
give him feelings, emotions, and personality. And they failed.